Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled, God's Will for You. God's Will for You. Romans 12, verse 3 says, Because of the privilege and authority God has given me, I give each of you this warning. Don't think you are better than you really are. Don't think you are better than you really are. Be honest in your evaluation of yourselves in a serious, sensible, and solemn manner. Self-restraint, measuring yourselves by the faith God has given you. Amen. You know, the New King James Version says, For I said, through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Amen. You know, when the Israelites uh, travel the, from Mount Sinai to the edge of Canaan, the Kohahites, descendants of the second son of Levi, had the privilege of carrying the Ark of the Covenant and other holy vessels in Numbers chapter 4, verses 1 to 15. By contrast, some, we don't know who, was responsible to carry the ten packs, ropes, poles, and the light. How did those with the menial task feel about those with the most holy task. Paul's words in Romans 12 verse 3 would have been good advice for you and for me. Don't think too highly or too lowly of yourselves. Rather, think realistically about the role God has given you to play in building up the body of Christ. God gives grace and faith to each one, we must discern the purpose of God's grace to us, each and every one of us, and fulfill His calling. Some carry the ark, some carry the ten packs, among all move purpose, the purpose of God into the future. Every one of us do different role, play different position in the church, and do whatever we are asked to do in the local church or in the organization. But every one of us have a role to play to move forward for the work of the kingdom or for the work of the local church. So what grace has God given you? Step out in faith to prove what is His good and perfect will for you and for me in Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. So what is the application here? The application here is this. If you're in position, don't think too highly of yourself and think that you lord it over others. Why? Because it is the grace of God given to you and I to be in the position to, pray, to play the role so that you can be a blessing to people around. Amen? If you are in a lower position or just nominal servants in the kingdom of God, don't think too lowly of yourself, but think that it is a call of God upon your life. It is a grace of God upon your life to do the work of the local church and the work of the kingdom. Every one of us, no matter we are in a high position or low position in the local church or in the kingdom of God or in the marketplace, every one of us play an equally important role to move together as a vehicle for the purpose of God's kingdom that God has called you and me. Amen? So therefore, what is God's will for you? Is to serve Him. For those in authority, serve in authority to be a blessing, not to lord it over others. For those who are not in authority, serve faithfully, just as God is leading and using you in His kingdom. Amen? Let's serve together for the sake of God's kingdom. Amen? God bless you. You have a great day. Father, bless our brothers and sisters with a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless.